Devin Haney reached out to Mark Kriegel via text and told him, I'm staying at 35 after I beat Lomachenko. That is a pay-per-view on May 20th. What does that mean for your future? Hey, tell him, come on. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I swear to God, I've been waiting for that for a long time. Me and Devin been in the ring with each other for years. I always got the best of Devin. Tell him, come on. Yeah. All right, there it is. Shakur Stevenson drops the gauntlet. What's up, YouTube? Let's get to it. All right, man. So I just wanted to come and make a real quick video right quick. Uh, we're going to be talking about Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Um, sounds like Devin Haney wanted that fight with Shakur Stevenson. It's just uh, the guy who was interviewing Shakur Stevenson after his fight with Yoshino brought it up to his attention. And he said he happy. He glad. You know what I'm saying? That he wanted, uh, that he, he glad that Devin wanted to fight him. He's actually been waiting for this. He's been ready for this. And he said that he always have gotten the best of Devin Haney any way when it comes to their sparring sessions um now if you want to see one of the sparring sessions you can go to dante's boxing nation he has it up on his channel he's another uh a boxing channel where he report boxing and stuff he's it's called dante's boxing nation and he got the sparring session on his channel so go and check it out um i've already i've, I've been watching it a while back a long time ago um and i can tell you right now i don't i don't really think Listen, David Haney was doing okay in that sparring session. He was doing okay. But since then, they both have improved, to be honest with you. But just as much as Devin Haney has improved, so has Shakur Stevenson. And to me, from what I see, it looks like Shakur Stevenson done improved way more. Ultimately, in every category, you know what I'm saying, especially when it comes to power. David Haney has improved when it comes to per skill. Shakur Stevenson has improved when it comes to per skill, defense, and power. Mostly power, especially at 135. This guy, I mean, if you would have saw his fight, I'm pretty sure most of y'all did see his fight with uh, Yoshino. When I tell you, this guy was exercising the sweet science. He's the embodiment of the sweet science. The way he was doing it and he wasn't just running around in the ring so don't think that's what i'm talking don't don't think that's what i'm talking about oh no now he was definitely dodging some punches and slipping and stuff like that but he wasn't really technically what you would call running you know what i'm saying uh he was making sure that he still stayed right there with yoshino and he was still making yoshino miss uh he was dodging you know what i'm saying and and ultimately and 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 his counters was nice his check hooks was nice his hooks his uppercuts his right hands you know what i'm saying his jabs you know what i'm saying uh he was doing a great job of keeping the distance ultimately this dude was just exercising everything his defense was superb uh and he seemingly had has power now at 135 at, at, at least more than he had at 126 and 130 put it like that and uh drops Yoshino two times and uh, this guy just looked fantastic out there man he looked fantastic so who do I see winning well as of right now I see Shakur Stevenson beating everybody at 135 yes this includes Tank now if you would ask me that a year ago can he beat Tank I would have been like man no he ain't got nothing to do with Tank bro but now, from what I just saw last night, oh, 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 oh yes, he definitely can beat Tank when it comes to pure boxing. Now, we can't just count Tank out now, because I'm going to tell you like this, if Tank catch him <laughs> with one of those flush shots, no, forget that, we're talking about Tank, and it ain't even got to be flush. He's proved that, that he can knock you out even when, it's, even when it ain't flush, he still can knock you out. He's already proved that. So... If Tank hit him, if he catches him, he could sleep him. But that's the point. Can he catch him with one of those shots? Will he be able to catch him with one of those shots? Now, he's going to get hit. Every fighter gets hit. I don't care what you say. Everybody gets hit. As great as Mayweather was, he got hit. You know what I'm saying? So, Chris Stevenson will get hit if he were there to fight Tank. But is it going to be enough for Tank to sleep him? Because if Tank can't sleep him, Tank going to lose to Chris Stevenson. Devin Haney, to me, ain't got no chance. So he trying to, trying to call out Shakur Stevenson. I think this is a bad move for him. And I definitely got Shakur Stevenson beating this guy in all rounds and possibly knocking him out. But I'll be waiting for that fight. I'll be looking for that fight. Um, but it's all I got for you guys today, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with another video. Holla at your boy.